Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mitch Tabian and this is the second part of my tutorial on how to control a robot arm with an Xbox 360 controller and an Arduino Uno. Uh, so in this part I'm going to go through, um, I'm probably not going to go through installing the Arduino ID, it's pretty simple. You just literally click install and it goes. So I'm not going to go through that. Um, key 6 can be a little tricky so I'm going to go through that and going to go through putty 2. So to install key sticks, uh, you go to the site, and once it's installed, open it up here. Um, I thought it was free, but apparently it's not. Uh, you should have a trial version though, so it should still work okay. Uh, so you open it up, and it's going to look something like this. Uh, the keys might be different, but that's okay because we're going to change those. So um, first thing you want to do is choose a profile. I chose the standard keyboard to do, and then just hit load. Then you want to edit the keys, so go edit profile settings. This is going to pop up, and we can just click on these keys, go to right click on it, go to type key, lowercase, and this one's A for mine. And then here, same thing, type key, lowercase, let's go with Q. Um, also remember that if you want to use my Arduino code, the keys need to match exactly, or it's not going to work properly. So you need to do this. Oh, also, you need to go to Edit. Let's get this out of the way. And we need to add an auto repeat. So what that what that's going to do is Notepad. So what that's going to do is when you type a key and hold it down, or basically when you t you hit like, hit like, uh, right, left on the joystick, say, it's, it's only going to, it's only going to type it once, but if you turn on this auto repeat, it's going to repeat. So that's what we need. Did I lose it? Thank you. Okay, so let's turn on that auto repeat. Let's go up here, hit auto repeat, and we're going to add a type key A and just hit add. So now you have an any function or a any time held and auto repeat. So if you hit it once, it's going to it's going to register and if you hold it, it's going to register. That's what that does. I think I can just hit close after that. So you, then you can check it. So if I have A selected here, I can see when directed up, type A, and when directed up, auto repeat, type A. So that's what you need to do for each key. So same thing for this one. Uh, same thing, add. There we go. Okay, so you need to have that done for every single key, and then when you've done that, just hit apply here, and okay. And it's going to look something, I'm, I'm going to load my finished one here, which is that. When it's done, it's going to look something like this. So make sure that you have this, this thing copied completely, or the Arduino code isn't going to work properly. The keys G and J don't really matter. I was going to add a power button. But I decided not to put that in, so the only keys that don't matter are G and J. You can leave them out if you want. Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, so, if you're typing on the keyboard, notice that when you hold down a button, there's a time delay in between the time it takes to print one A and the next, or any key. What we need to do is reduce that time delay to basically zero, so the robot arm will move at a nice continuous motion. Otherwise, it moves in steps, and that's not what you want. So to do that, we just go to settings and change all of these. So left stick, right stick, left trigger, right trigger. Change all these to the lowest possible time delay. So you're probably going to have something like something like that in there right now. So basically what you want to do is take these, reduce them to as low as possible, which is 0 0.02. Hit add, and then remove all of the leftover ones. And hit close. And you got to do that for these, these four right here. When that's done, hit apply. Okay. And you should be good to go. For key sticks, anyway. 
So the next part we're going to I'm going to show you how to work putty. So after it's installed, you should you should be able to open it and get a window like this. As soon as you want want to move your robot arm, we just click over here, click on serial and choose the com that your your Arduino is plugged into. You can check your com by going down to device manager and finding it in here. There'll be a com number. So then just type in the com number. For me it was com6 and then you just hit load and then hit open. You can't I don't have my plugged in so it doesn't open, but that's that's all you do. And then once that once that opens, um, a window is going to open up and it's going to look like the command prompt, but it's going to be putty. I'll just make sure you have the, it selected, and then every key you press on your controller will get sent through the COM port to the Arduino. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so in the next in the next video, I'll go through the Arduino code and how to install the library. Even though I think the library should be pre-installed. And yeah, I think that'll be pretty much it. So thanks for watching.